welcome back. Uh, today we will be continuing the remaining MCQs of MRI that is magnetic resonance imaging. We have already started up the first sessions of MRI. We have discussed 10 questions that is 10 MCQs of MRI along with a brief explanation was also given so that it is very easy for you to understand. Today we will be continuing the remaining MCQs of MRI. So, moving on to the question. If nuclei are aligned with the external field, they are in option A, normal energy state, option B, lower energy state, option C, higher energy state and option D is both B and C. So, if a nuclei are aligned with the external field, that is along the main magnetic field, then the nuclei will be in which energy state is the question and the answer is option B, lower energy state. So, the lower energy state nuclei will be aligned along with the main magnetic field and the higher energy that means parallel to the magnetic field and the high energy nuclei will be aligned and the parallel. So, let's see the explanation. In the resonance condition, a proton in the low energy state will be aligned with B0. B0 is the main magnetic field. Will transition, that is flip to the higher energy state. That is opposite to the B0. So, the low energy will be aligned along the main magnetic field and high energy state will be against the magnetic field. That is anti-parallel to the main magnetic field. Moving on to the next question, question number 12. The sum of individual magnetic moments are aligned parallel to external field is known as. So, the sum of individual magnetic moments which is aligned parallel to external field is known as option A, longitudinal magnetization, option B, transverse magnetization, option C, net magnetization and option D is both A and B. The answer is option C, net magnetization. So, the sum is known as net magnetization. So, let's see the explanation. The net magnetization vector in MRI is the summation of all the magnetic moments of the individual hydrogen nuclei. Question number 13. The rate of precision of protons in magnetic field is characteristic for that element and also depends on the strength of main magnetic field. This is known as option A oscillation frequency, option B gyrometric ratio, option C lama frequency and option D is net magnetization. Here the answer is option C lama frequency. So, let's see the explanation. The Lamar or precisional frequency in NMR, NMR means nuclear magnetic resonance, refers to the rate of precision of the magnetic moment of the proton around the external magnetic field. The frequency of precision is related to the strength of the magnetic field that is B0. So, the Lamar or the precisional frequency is the rate of precision of the magnetic moment of a proton around the external magnetic field. Moving on to the next question, question number 14. Relaxation is a process that occurs after terminating the option A, RF pulse, that is radio frequency pulse, option B, switch, option C, pulse sequence and option D is grid. The answer is option A radio frequency pulse. So, the relaxation is happening when the RF pulse is switched off. So, the relaxation is a process in which the spin release the energy received from the radio frequency pulse. That the energy released is known as the echo. This echo will be transferred into a MRI image. Question number 15. Which flip angle is commonly used in MR imaging? Option A 30 degree, option B 45 degree, option C 60 degree and option D is 90 degree. The answer is option D 90 degree. So, let's see the explanation. The flip angle in an MRI phenomena by which the axis of the hydrogen proton 
shifts from its or longitudinal plane that is a static magnetic field B0 to, is, to the transverse place that is the z-axis and the x-axis by ex excitation with the help of radio frequency R of pulse. Question number 16. The time interval between initial 180 degree R of pulse and the 90 degree R of pulse is known as option A relaxation time, option B echo time, option C inversion time and option D is time of repetition. Here the answer is option C inversion time. So the time interval between initial 180 degree R of pulse and 90 degree R of pulse is known as inversion time. So let's see the explanation. The time between the 180 degree inverting pulse and the 90 degree pulse is called the inversion time. The repetition time TR and the echo time are defined as they are for spin echo. Moving on to the next question, question number 17. Higher the concentration of mobile hydrogen nuclei. Option A, stronger the MR signal, higher the resolution. Option C, higher the contrast. And option D is reduce scan time. The answer is option A, stronger the MR signal. So higher the concentration of mobile hydrogen nuclei means stronger the MR signal. So let's see the explanation. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI uses the body's natural magnetic properties to produce detailed images from any part of the body. For imaging purpose, the hydrogen nucleus, a single proton, is used because of its abundance in water and fat. As you all know, the chemical formula for water is H2O. So, abundance that is 90 percentage of the human body comprises of water moving on to the next question question number 18 permanent magnets are manufactured from option a paramagnetic materials option b ferromagnetic materials option c piezoelectric materials and option d is diamagnet the answer is option b ferromagnetic materials so the explanation is Permanent magnets are made from special alloys that is ferromagnetic materials such as iron, nickel, cobalt and several alloys of rare earth metals and minerals such as lodestone. So the permanent magnets are formed from ferromagnetic materials. Moving on to the next question, question number 19. Which of the following sequences shows the best anatomical details on MRI? Option A, inversion recovery. Option B, spin echo. Option C, saturation recovery. And option D is all of the above. The answer is option A, inversion recovery. So let's see the explanation. Inversion recovery pulse sequence are a type of MRI signal used to selectively null the signal from certain tissue. For example, in the case of fat or fluid. So the inversion recovery sequences is you are of two types that is flare as well as tear. Flare means fluid attenuated inversion recovery and uh, stir is a short even recovery sequence. In that uh, in the case of flare the fluid will be suppressed. Signals won't be produced from the fluid. Likewise in the case of stir sequence the fat signals will be suppressed. So the uh, among the all the sequences or uh, among the above options, inversion recovery gives a, um, is the best for anatomical details, more clear anatomical details since MRI is as compared with CT, it is having a good soft tissue resolution. With respect to all these sequences, it is known as it's best for soft tissue resolution. Then inversion recovery can also generate heavenly T1 weighted images and were originally developed for this purpose. Question number 20. The critical temperature is achieved by immersing the coil in option A nitrogen, option B oxygen, option C liquid helium and option D is liquid sulfur. The answer is option C liquid helium. So let's see the explanation. 
Liquid helium is a perfect element cold enough to provide the level of superconductivity required in MRI scanners. It cooled down the superconducting magnets which generate images of the human body to a temperature below 15 Kelvin that is minus 269 degrees Celsius. Hope you all are clear with today's session. With that, I am winding up today's session. If you have any queries, you can just feel free to contact me and I am having few of the WhatsApp group and if you wish to join any of these WhatsApp group, can just WhatsApp me. That is, I am having radiographer coaching group is there, NHS interview special, HCPC, KORU as well as CMRT. If you want to join any of these group, you can just WhatsApp me. Uh, along with that, I will be giving my email address also. Uh, so stay tuned till next Sunday. Sunday is the day I used to upload my new new videos. If you like my videos, please don't forget to share among your friends, colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos I am uploading. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and bye-bye.